On-the-scene coverage of ACC14 is supported by Janssen Pharmaceuticals, Incorporated. I'm Peter Block here at ACC Annual Meeting in Washington, D.C. for On the Scene. And the late-breaking clinical trials are now coming up. I'm here with one of the first. Martin Holtzman is here with me from the Karolinska Institute. Martin has done a trial on troponins, negative troponins in patients with chest pain in the ED. It may make a big difference in how we take care of patients. Martin, tell me about this trial. Yes, we had a hypothesis that these new high sensitivity troponins are so sensitive that you only need one blood sample independent on when, when that is taken in relation to the onset of symptoms. So if you have an undetectable troponin and a normal ECG, you may be sent home directly from the ED. So a patient comes into the ED with chest pain, how long do you wait? Because the time since the onset of pain may be important, would you agree? Well, we didn't take time into account at all, and we showed that you don't need to take time into account if the troponin level is undetectable, that is below five nanograms per liter at our laboratory. So the important and operative word here is undetectable, not exactly. low, right? Exactly. So if it is totally undetectable, exactly. EKG, what about the EKG? Exactly, we, you, you need to look at the ECG actually. Uh, but if, if the ECG is uh, without signs of ischemia, uh, you can use the, the, the undetectable troponin. And we did find a negative predictive value for MI within 30 days of 99.8%. It's almost 100% negative predictive value. So in the past, we have always said, well, we need to, a couple of troponins, we need to wait six hours and so forth. Is that all out the window now? I think probably you will need more studies to uh, validate our data, but we, our study is pretty large, so we had 9,000 patients in this group with uh, undetectable troponins, so, so I think, uh, but you need to do it in, in other settings, uh, would maybe take uh, uh, ethnic background into uh, account, etc. Okay, so the bottom line for this, for all the folks out there taking care of patients in the ED, undetectable troponin and a normal EKG without evidence of ischemia, you've got a 99.8% chance that your patient's going to do well, and they can be sent home. Thank you, Martin.